I went to the hospital three times within 48 hours. They did their MRIs and I had lesions on my brain and on my spine. And 48 hours later, I was paralyzed from my belly down and I was blind. I did some rehab and I finally started walking with a walker in my wheelchair and that lasted for about six months. My first initial flare lasted 12 months. Then came the fibromyalgia, then Graves' disease. Then you start getting the neurological aspect of it. I had lesions on my brain. One of the problems with treating lupus today is we do have a very limited list of medications or treatments that we can use and many of the ones we do have, even though they are effective, also have serious and significant side effects. So we're very excited about the uh, current trial that is about to begin to looking at the role of what are called mesenchymal stem cells for treating uh, lupus. Stem cells are very early cells that then evolve as we grow into all the different many, many different cells that we have in our bodies. So they're the very early cells that then um, change into all the different cells that we need. The way that mesenchymal stem cells work is uh, still up in the air, and we think they work by kind of resetting what is wrong in the immune system. I mean, our greatest hope is that this will be a very effective uh, treatment for lupus. People like myself that have been through all the FDA approved medicines, you know, this is their only chance. This is their only hope. There was a huge gap, a huge need for resources, for money and, so for, and for support. And the LFA stepped right in without even blinking. And they took it upon themselves to make sure that it would happen. And the pure reason that this trial is happening right now is because of the vision of Dr. Gilkison and his team and the support and the resources of the Lupus Foundation of America. We owe it to the people of the future to continue to fight for more research funding, to continue to express upon the world that the people with lupus deserve better and safer drugs. It's not a time to look around to see who else is going to do it, that we all need to do our part. We're close and we need you.